Now let's look at the shortcomings of ECL emitter coupled logic. Then I'll tell you how to overcome those shortcomings and I'll make a modified emitter coupled logic circuit. That's what we are going to do now. So first I'm telling you about the shortcomings. First shortcoming is inputs are mismatched. So we have seen the criteria VI can be plus minus half V on from VR and VR can, will be minus three by two V on. Right. If you will plug this value of V R here, your input will be going from minus V on to minus two V on, depending upon which sign you will take. If you uh, if you will take minus sign, it will go to minus two V on. If you take plus sign, it will go to minus V on. So your input range is between minus V on to minus two V on. Now, what will be the output range? You can see if this transistor will not be conducting, will be in cutoff, then no current will flow through this branch, no drop at R. So Y will be connected to Y2 will be connected to ground. I'm just taking an example. Uh, this could be happen with both of them. So Y will be equal to zero here. And when the transistor is conducting, it's in active region. What will happen? There will be a drop across this, which will be I naught R. Right. I naught will be the maximum current or minimum uh, voltage you will be able to get. So between Y2 and ground, you will have minus V on. Right. So this will happen with either of them. Uh, it can happen with Y1, Y2 or both. Right. So your output is swinging between zero and minus V on, whereas input is swinging between minus V on to minus two V on. Now imagine if you are driving some other gate, you will have this kind of circuit uh, ahead as well. So the output will be feeded to the input of those circuits. Now here you are defining the input range between minus V on to minus two V on output is between zero to minus V on. If you will give this as an input to some other gate, they will expect minus V on to minus two V on input, but you are providing zero to minus V on. So there is an input mismatch. Okay. So you can't drive the other gates, uh, exactly similar to this. So that's the problem. So which will be able to uh, over uh, overcome in modified ECL. Okay, so that's what I've written. If these outputs, these outputs feed it to some other gates, there is some other transistors, then inputs will be mismatched, right? You, the, like this only you 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 will be having transistors, right? So you want the out input to be in this range, but through this output, you are providing the input value in this range. That's why the problem is occurring. So input is mismatched. This, that this is one problem. Now I'm going to tell you the second problem. What is this? Now let's look at the second uh, shortcoming that is uh, lowering of logic high. So what happens if you, if you are trying to uh, drive some other gate, let's say this is a transistor same as this and you have a I naught VEE. So what will happen if this, this, this output is uh, zero, let's say, which is uh, logic high. So this will start conducting, right? Logic high you are providing, then this will start conducting. So some close to ground voltage you apply, it will start conducting uh, away from ground you apply. It will not conduct because it is working on negative supply. If it will conduct, it will draw some current, right? It will draw some current. And here you are having this guy is conducting. So all the current I naught will be current flowing through this transistor. So I naught here, if you will imagine this I naught, which was divided in among the other transistors, but it is flowing through all the, all the I naught current is flowing through this transistor. I can imagine I naught will be the current here. So I naught by beta will be the current here. It is a common, uh, uh, common collector, right? Base current, whatever is coming and uh, at the emitter, you are taking the current. So it would be beta times, right? So I'm going reverse means I am dividing it. So I not, I know I not with this current will be I not by beta. Imagine the similar kind of scenario. You have other fan outs as well. Like this is one transistor. Then similar, you can imagine like uh, this arrangement again and this arrangement again, like all of them will be driving this current I not by beta. So at uh, finally what you can see here what current we, it will be there it will be i naught divided by beta into n that is what i have written so when more number of transistors will be attached here 
uh, you will be having i naught by beta current from each of them and n is the number of transistor so total i naught by beta n current and it will come from this ground to this r right because you are having logic high here since it is not conducting that's why you are having logic high since this is the current flowing through this r what will be the drop across it vr i am writing i naught divided by beta n into r right this is the current this is the resistance so resistance multiplied by current is voltage if the value of n is will increase means if you will increase the number of fan outs this voltage will increase and you will have a negative or negative drop is there no with some minus sign it is between this and this volt uh, point you are taking the voltage and current is coming opposite so more negative you will have logic high okay so that's what i've written lower uh, lowering of logic high so this guy is increasing increasing as you increase the number of fan outs but since you are taking the voltage like this and current is coming in opposite direction you will have more negative value of uh, vr right so uh, it was vr is, is equal to minus v on it was but since you are driving more number of gates or more number of transistor it is lowering than that what is the problem with this now if you lower the logic high deliberately we keep uh, the logic swing that is the difference between logic 0 and logic 1 very high, uh, less in high speed circuits uh, but if you lower it through this uh, 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 if it will lower through this phenomena even more then it's a problem right so in high speed circuit what happens is you deliberately keep logic uh, low and logic high very uh, close to each other because we want fast switching but if this phenomena occurs your logic high will decrease even more and that may cause a problem so that's why this is a, another problem that logic high gets reduced voltage gets reduced and the first one was uh, mismatch of the inputs so these two problems were there in ecl that's why modified ecl came where we will be using common collector arrangement uh, after the output and then we will take the output so that um, these two problems will be solved we will see how